Welcome everyone. Today in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to take this very abstract RAW file and I'm going to turn it into a very dynamic and very simplistic abstract picture like this. So first of all let me actually explain what you see here. So this is actually just a long exposure picture 1 8th of a second at 70 millimeters of a cloud reflecting in the water and I think I was on a boat back then and I just tried out something new, tried some uh, longer exposures with some movement in the waves and stuff and I actually like the result. So this is like, I don't do many abstract photos but this is one of my first and I just wanted to show you how I edit it. So first thing I'm gonna do here is just crop the image. Now this is definitely completely optional but I think a one-to-one -one crop works pretty well here just because it is such a simplistic image and I think one-to-one -one is the most simplistic format you can get for such a picture of course just in my personal opinion so now we have a pretty good starting point but as you can see it's kind of dark it's kind of flat because it's a raw file so I just want to make everything pop the colors the lighting so let me get started first thing raise the shadows so we kind of eliminate some of the shadows down here obviously then I'm gonna actually bring down the highlight slider right here so I can bring up the whites quite a lot and of course want to make sure that I hold down the all key here and bring that to the right and stop before anything clips so that looks definitely way more dynamic if I go here here's before any white adjustments and here's after already looks so much more dramatic so much more dynamic so actually that makes me think I may have a little bit too much water down here so let me crop that actually a little bit further so we really have the majority of the picture is just from this cloud I mean it really doesn't matter what this is um, it's really just an abstract picture and of course the goal here is just to make it look good without having any context to it so let me go further with the blacks and I think I'm gonna bring down the blacks that way I really get a little bit of contrast in the picture and it also makes every seem a little bit more vibrant and I definitely like that look don't want to go too far with it something like that works pretty good then let's go to the contrast and I'm really just playing around with these sliders I don't really have too much experience with editing abstract images like this but clarity I think I'm gonna increase the clarity just a little bit just because it kind of enhances the structure a little bit while not really taking away too much of the softness of the flow of the picture so I think that works pretty good let's go lastly to the color temperature and hmm I think the color temperature was pretty good how it was maybe just a hint warmer works maybe a little bit better and tint I mean tint really is fine so I'm just gonna reset that so I'm done with the basics adjustment let's go down to the tonal curve and of course bring up the highlights I want to make sure that I don't do it too much here because there are quite a lot of bright spots and if I would just do it too much I would overexpose everything and also I would kind of lose the detail the differentiation between these very fine lines of highlights so I'm just gonna raise that a little bit and of course just play around with the rest of these sliders gonna do that really quick and just stick with whatever looks best so really not much changed in the tonal curve here's before the tonal curve adjustment here's after in my regular picture that tends to have a much bigger impact but for this photo really doesn't I mean I kind of want to keep this video relatively short but I'm still gonna play around at least with the HSL hue and just gonna grab this little pinpointer and drag it over the blues and the reason I'm doing that is because I kind of want to make this blue a little bit uh, darker so I don't want such a light blue I kind of want to make it at least a little bit darker so I think that look is a little bit better before after I mean if you're editing all of this stuff for yourself definitely take some time with it 
but uh, you know that kind of stuff really doesn't have super big impact so I'm just gonna leave that out the rest of the HSL sliders here just so I can keep the video kind of short split toning really not sure if I want to add any split toning here I mean I can try Hmm, maybe a little bit of orange actually works. I mean, if I go too far with it, I really don't like this yellowish touch. But if I just add like 15 saturation, it really doesn't even look orangey. It really just differentiates some of the color and that makes the whites kind of look a little bit better. So I'm just gonna stick there, shadows, really, let's go quickly into the shadows as well. But as you surely know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will know that I really don't like to edit shadows as much as I do highlights. But this picture, maybe I wanna even bring like 20 saturation into the oranges here. So here would be at zero, and here's like at 20. Yeah, this might be like a picture very rarely that I actually adjust the shadows, but I think it works here. Here's before any highlight and shadow adjustment in the split toning tool. And here's of course after. It's really not that big of a difference, but it is a little bit more refined and I like the color a little bit better. Then detail tool is gonna really go quickly here. I mean, as you can see, there's absolutely no texture you, we want to sharpen further. It's really all very smooth. So I'm actually gonna bring the default sharpening of Lightroom about down to zero from 25 just because I absolutely don't want any sharpening in this photo. I want to make it seem as smooth and as noiseless as possible. So let's zoom in one to one here when we're speaking of noise and go first of all to the color noise reduction slider. As I see here, there's really not that much uh, color noise, no purple or green color noise, but I'm just gonna increase that anyways in case there might be somewhere some color noise that I might not even see. So I'm just gonna add a little bit there and the main thing I wanna do here is add noise reduction. Now noise reduction, as you surely know, I really don't like the tool, but for this picture, I mean, this is a completely different picture and by making the picture look a little bit more plasticky, I mean, you really don't notice it because there are not any textures that we really lose any sharpening off. So I'm actually gonna go quite far into the noise reduction here. And I think that looks pretty good. It definitely looks way smoother. So let me actually just check here would be before any detail tool adjustments. And here is after all that stuff. And you can see it looks way cleaner. So I think that's pretty good here. Let me just quickly enable profile corrections, go to color, remove chromatic aberration, down here at the facts. This is actually very interesting because, hmm, vignetting. Now, vignetting, of course, in every picture is up to you, but I'm really trying to decide if I want to add any vignetting here. I think it actually works. Let me just see. Here's without, and here's with. It definitely, I think both looks are very, very good and very valid and I like them both, but at the end, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of vignetting so we have even more exposure difference and uh, more difference in the pictures, of course, more interest, generally speaking. So I think that works pretty well down here at the camera calibration, uh, profile and uh, adjustment sliders. I'm not gonna change anything there. So we're done with the global adjustments and that pretty much means we're done with the local adjustments as well. I really am not even sure if I wanna add any local adjustments here just because I don't think dodge and burning works. For example, if I bring plus exposure here you know it it that isn't really needed and it kind of looks unnatural that way so I think I'm actually done here I also don't want to add any closing out with the graduated filters for example I really don't think that works very well I really think this is one of my few pictures that I'm really not going to do any local adjustments on by the way let me know in the comments in down below if you like these kind of different 
to not really regular edits of pictures or if you would rather see me do more landscape edits and stuff that is more in the ordinary you can also of course just press the like or dislike button to let me know that as well so thank you once again very much for watching hope you have a great day and of course take care